Hey guys, welcome back to another new video. So in this video, we are going to explore Infinity X version 2.2, which is based on Android 15. So I have been using this ROM for a few days now. And one thing I have to say that this is an amazing ROM. So if you are using any ROMs based on Android 14, I think you should, you should try Android 15 based ROM now. So this is the ROM which I have been using. Uh, let me show you what it is running on so about phone so as you can see here it is running on android 15 the version we are using here is infinity x 2.2 and the security patch level is 5th of november 2024 so it is a recent build so as far as android 15 features goes it got a lot of features actually first of all as you can see here it got the features called peak when you use the back button you can see the last open page so you can see that so that is introduced in android 15 based rom and it's available and rather than that you're also getting private space which is also introduced in android 15 based rom so as you can see here private space so private space is kind of pretty similar to what you get with xiaomi's second space it is pretty much like using two device in a one device you can use all this application and also it is pretty much separated from the original os so there will be no sharing of data between two os that's really useful if you keep sensitive information like bank apps and other apps you download custom roms from different sites so you can separate them in two spaces so that they don't interfere much and also there will be no security risk for you so that's really good and one thing about this rom it's kind of amazing the way it runs although it is based on android 15 as far as application goes as you can see here it got miui camera and as a gfs build it also got few application one good thing about this rom right now is that the bif browser is built in right now i use bif browser as my default browser across my all devices so i use only bif browser it is lightweight and perform really well and as far as safety net goes safety net is passed you can use bank application here without any kind of issue so as you can see passed and one more thing about this it also got google play protect certification so there will be no compatibility issue of application so all the application will run perfectly fine here as you can see device is certified and also this device got unlimited storage in google photos so if you use device to upload photos you can do that here no issue with that and basically this is one of the most perfect rom you can get right now although evolution x already released their android 15 based rom which i did not try yet but i will try that and i will compare both of them later on but as far as my usability goes this is a top-notch rom and everyone should try this rom and one more feature which was not here on the previous build is circle to search so if you press and hold this So as you can see here, circle to search is activated. Now we can circle. It works perfectly fine, but there is issue with uh, circle to search here. It is a little laggy. So as you can see here, if I press and hold, it takes time to activate. It's not really like today's Samsung devices and Google Pixel devices, but it, these devices are five years old and you are getting this feature here. That's amazing. So the device is working perfectly fine and in terms of gaming also it is doing pretty well. It is much better than Android 14 based ROM. It's kind of surprising that Android 15 based ROM doing this well. As far as my usability goes, I haven't faced any kind of major issue. Even there is no delay when it wake up from sleep. So I haven't faced any delay in waking up from sleep this device. So the ROM is perfectly usable and works flawlessly. One thing which is missing here is that AI wallpaper. I don't really use that, but the feature is not here on this ROM. Change wallpaper. So we don't really have anything here. The built-in wallpaper is only single wallpaper here. This one. And there is no more wallpaper here. But the device is working perfectly fine. In terms of gaming, in terms of connectivity, in terms of overall performance, this is a really good ROM. So if you have Redmi Note 8 device right now, you should try this ROM. It is basically the best ROM you can get right now for Redmi Note 8. Even it is much better than Android 14 based ROM, although it is running on Android 15. So the ROM link will be in the description below. If you want to try, try this ROM. That's all about it. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.